Hi Davis, it's Miss Feather from Life Skills class. Today on Davis Reads, I'm going to read to you Charlie Anderson by Barbara Abercrombie. It's one of my daughter's favorite bedtime stories. It's about two young girls, very sweet young girls, and what I think you'll agree by the end of the story is a very clever cat. But let's get started. One cold night, a cat walked out of the woods, up the steps, across the deck, and into the house where Elizabeth and Sarah lived. He curled up next to their fireplace to get warm. He watched the six o'clock news on TV. He tasted their dinner, and he tried out their beds. He decided to stay, and the girls named him Charlie. Every morning, Charlie disappeared into the woods again. At night, when he came home, Elizabeth brushed him clean, fed him dinner, and made a space for him at the foot of her bed. He liked Elizabeth's bed the best. Sometimes she would wake up in the middle of the night and hear him purring in the dark. Sarah called him Baby and dressed him up in doll clothes. He didn't look too happy about that. When it snowed, Elizabeth and Sarah's mother heated Charlie's milk before he left for the woods. He grew fatter and fatter, and every day he purred louder and louder. On weekends, the girls stayed with their father and stepmother in the city. They wanted to bring Charlie with them, but their mother said he'd miss the woods. Charlie's a country cat, she told them. One stormy night, Charlie didn't come home. Elizabeth and Sarah stayed out on the deck and called and called his name, but no Charlie. Where was he? Why wouldn't he come out of the woods? Was he all right? Sarah seems really upset. All night long, Elizabeth listened to the rain beating on the roof and the wind rattling the windows. Was he cold? Was he hurt? Where was Charlie? In the morning, Elizabeth and Sarah looked for him. They asked the lady down the road if she'd seen their cat. She said no and offered them cookies, but they were too worried to eat anything, even her chocolate chip cookies. They went to the new house on the other side of the woods. Have you seen our cat? They asked. His name is Charlie. He's very fat and has gray striped fur. We have a cat with gray striped fur, said the man, but his name's not Charlie. It's Anderson. He's upstairs on our bed. They heard a meow, and down the stairs came a very fat cat with gray striped fur. Charlie, Sarah and Elizabeth cried. No, that's Anderson, said the woman. We've had him for seven years, right, Anderson? He looked at her and began to purr. But it's Charlie, Sarah said. He looked at her and purred louder. Is he ever here at night, Elizabeth asked. Anderson is a hunter, said the man. He prowls the woods at night. Charlie sleeps in my bed at night, Elizabeth said. He leaves for the woods after breakfast. Anderson comes home at breakfast time, said the woman. He leaves right after dinner. They all looked at the cat. He sat at their feet, very happy and very fat. They call him Charlie Anderson now. 
Sometimes in bed at night, Elizabeth asks him, Who do you love best, Charlie Anderson? And she can hear him purring in the dark. Just like Elizabeth and Sarah, Charlie has two houses, two beds, two families who love him. He's a very lucky cat. Well, I hope you enjoyed Charlie Anderson. We really love him in our home. We love clever cats and we love finding the best out of our situations. And while you guys are at home, I trust and challenge you to do the same. Be with family, wave to friends, go for walks, enjoy this time. We miss you, but we want you to stay safe and do all your studying. So take care and thanks for joining us in Davis Reads. <laughs>